Good day, good people. My name is Artemis Jenkins, and this is How to Be a Dope Artist, a book that I wrote last October. Um, I completed it sometime around the new year, and I've had the opportunity to workshop it with some high school students this year. This book was created with students like myself in mind. Students who at one point were young and trying to figure out what exactly could be done to make sense of these creative impulses and energy flowing through my body and wanting some affirmation on the life that I was beginning to envision. You know, like, is this something, you know, that I can do? And I think that may be something that um, younger people these days deal with in a different way than when I was young, long, long ago. Um, in the 90s, it wasn't as defined, you know, that you could be an artist and make a living off of it. It was more of a, you know, a pie in the sky kind of idea of living. So um, I created this book for people like me who desire a certain organization and insight into what it really means to live as an artist. Um, so this book isn't necessarily for any type of artist. It's for anybody who is capable of seeing, you know, the creativity necessary in life and, you know, desires to live artfully, I would say. This book is 10 chapters, very short. Um, you know, I don't know if whoever watches Kirby Enthusiasm out there, but... You know, when they had that one episode where he's like, I don't know if it's really a book. Maybe it's more like a pamphlet. And I remember somebody, you know, that I was like, yeah, man, I wrote a book. And I showed it. And he was like, eh, is it a book? Oh, look, look, sir, it's a book. Anyway, <laughs> the book itself is not very thick, pause, but it would thicken based off of your own input and what you put into the book. This is a workbook, so... The chapters themselves are very short. It's 10 chapters. And each chapter is followed by a journal prompt. So essentially it's a book that can be more of a book. It's a book that can, you know, well, at least the way I envision it is that it will grow and become something different as more and more people add, you know, to it. So course we got to have a plane flying over while we record an audio but um as you can see this first chapter is very short that's about how long all of the chapters are and after each chapter we have journal prompts and this is where it gets interesting uh, you know perhaps you have more to write than these five lines can hold uh, perhaps I have more to write because I haven't actually filled out this book. So maybe it would be a lot more pages if I had actually, like, you know, done all of the journal prompts. But these are concepts that have been pretty consistent in my life. And they help me to organize the way that I get things done so that my ideas can graduate from being ideas to reality. You know, from being cool thoughts to cool things that other people can see and inter interact with and you know maybe think are cool as well um, this patreon channel is dedicated to introducing this book to the world and um, beginning what I have in mind for uh, a virtual programming digital you know school kind of concept like over the past three years we've all gotten a lot of different experience with the virtual world and education and adding new skills and all of that stuff so what I just wanted to do was present my offering uh, which is something you know that I would have wanted for myself as a young person um, as much insight as possible on the different ways that different artists customize and create a creative process for themselves so stay tuned on this Patreon channel because we will be getting deeper and deeper <laughs> hey, yo. Um, into the world of how to be a dope artist. Um, I will be doing a reading 
Oh, I've already recorded it, but I will be posting this reading very soon. So, get ready. But this is a quick little introduction to How to Be a Dope Artist. Peace, y'all.